Good morning everybody on this Friday the 5th of February. So today we're going to be looking at dividing by 5. Let's remind ourselves of our vocabulary. We've got groups, equal groups, sharing, shared between, grouping, divided and division. We've been making lots of equal groups. We've also been sharing them out, one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me. We've also been making equal groups by grouping, so taking a group of 5, taking a group of 3. We've had a little think about when we share and when we group, and if we had, can, we've linked it to the bar model. We've looked at, so far, division facts by 2 and division facts by 10. So our final division day is looking at division facts by 5. Let's warm up our maths brains first, though. Super. So how did we get on? We would like to do 77 subtract 44. Okay, so we are going to look at look using a little bit of our column method. So we've got 72, and we're going to subtract 44. This is a little bit tricky with the pen, but we'll give it a go. Okay, so I'm going to do my big equal sign down here. 2, take away 4. I cannot do that. So I'm going to take a 10 from here. So I'm going to have six tens here. I'm going to put a 10 on it here. 12 take away four. Brilliant. That gives me eight. I've got six take away four, and that gives me 28. Well, I could have done it using my rods and sticks as well to help me. So question two, Jack has 13 counters. Dora has six fewer counters. How many counters does Dora have? So, if Dora's got six fewer, I need to take away six. I'm just going to cross six out. So I've crossed off three, four, five, six. So I can see that Dora has seven counters. And I'm going to write that as a sentence. Dora has seven counters because writing seven on its own wouldn't make sense. Okay, complete the number sentences. Four add six, that's a number one to ten. So if I know four add six is ten, what do we think? Mm, add sixty makes, that's right, makes a hundred. It's forty add sixty makes a hundred. Oh, I've got some money now. I've got a fifty, twenty, twenty and a five. Okay, so I'm just going to look at my I've got two twenties together, so that gives me forty. So I'm going to add my forty p to my fifty. So that's four tens and five tens. That gives me nine tens. So that's ninety, and extra five ones. So I have got ninety five. Not elephants. You must remember that p. Well done. So here we go, dividing by 10 today. First of all, let's do our counting in fives like we've done previously with tens and twos. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Let's add our times table facts onto that. 0 times 5 is 0. 1 times 5 is 5. 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 5 is 20, 5 times 5 is 25, 6 times 5 is 30, 7 times 5 is 35, 8 times 5 is 40, 9 times 5 is 45, 10 times 5 is 50, 11 times 5 is 55, 12 times 5 is 60. So, we know that 1 times 5 is 5. If I divide my group of five out, I can see that five shared between five is one. I know that two groups of five is ten. So ten shared between five gives me two. Can you guess what three groups of five is? Do you know what three groups of five is? Can you tell me what it is if I divide it? Let's have a look. So here are my three groups of five. Three groups of five is ten. 
So I know, my goodness, Mrs. Stevens, look at this. Three groups of five is 15, five, 10, 15. So 15 shared between five is three. What a silly mistake I was making. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm sharing out my groups of five. Here we go. So we could see three groups of five is 15. And I share my groups of five out. So 15 shared between five gives us three each. So having a think about that, can you find out what four times five is? If you know four times five is 20, can you do the division sum? Can you do the others as well? Brilliant. So I could say 20 divided by 5 is 4. I can say 25 divided by 5 is 5. I can say 35 divided by 5 is 7. And finally, I can say 50 divided by 5 is 10. So... Let's have a look. We've got some calculations here. Have a look at the pictures to help you. I wonder, which is the answer? 20 divided by 5. 20, we've got groups of 5 here that will help you. Is it 2 or is it 4? That's right, it's 4. 20 divided by 5 is 4 because we can see 4 groups of 5. What about this one? Can you match it up to the right answer? 15 divided by 5. I've got 1, 2, 3. There we go. OK, this time I need to fill in my missing boxes. 10 divided by 5. So I've got one group of 5, two groups of 5. There we go. What about 25 divided by 5? What did you get? I got 5. Because I've got one group of five, two groups of five, three groups of five, four groups of five, five groups of five. Okay, so here is our learning for today. Now, if you want to use equipment, please go and get something to help you. Here we go. See if you can use your matching to help you. Which calculations go with which answers? And then we've got a few calculations here to do. Some of them have got pictures. And these ones haven't. If you want to draw pictures, you can. Now for the challenge. Here we go. Just practicing some divisions. Can you do them in your head? How fast can you do them? And finally, we have got playing times table rock stars. Looking forward to seeing your learning on Tojo. Have a great day.